Hello. Um, yeah. <coughs> Alright. I checked, uh, on my other videos, uh, who died and, um, during the survival run mission in Mass Effect 2 and it was insane. The drill. And, um, it was Legion. <coughs> I'm sorry. Who got, uh, carried away by some bugs. Yeah. So, it wasn't a short break, as I've said. Uh, it took me some time to upload all the videos and my hard drive was full, so I gotta have a look. I gotta take a look here. Um, what we have to do now. Alright, yeah. Prior priority. Um, I don't know. Should we do those first? That say priority? <laughs> I guess. I guess we should. Um, including the Krogan. Rendezvous with the Solarian ship. Yeah, let's do that then. On our ugly ass Normandy here. Um Nah, it's not that bad. What's up? I'm trying to restart the systems, but something's blocking me. Ah. What's happening? It's taken ED offline. Ah, yeah, I remember. I see. And that was on deck three, wasn't it? The AI core. Um. Oh, this is where the synthetic was, right? Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Um... Well, if it means having full access to the protean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or type beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. I'll tell you when I need it. Excellent. I will run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic squad mates. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. <laughs> it was shooting at them a little while ago. 
An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Holy shit. On that we can agree. <laughs> yeah. Are you alright? <coughs> it's fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Hmm. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. It's not an average school. You might even be doing work for the Alliance. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, Whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated, but I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trailer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. Let's see what Joker has to say on this. On this, actually. Hey, Commander, check out my co pilot! <laughs> so she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. <laughs> Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. 
He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Well, that's interesting. And she has a nice hair. Nice hairdo made of metal. <laughs> that's a good storyline here. Uh, hang on a sec, I will make a short break. 